Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2014, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, right in the middle of the month, you have a fascinating full moon taking place. Now, this full moon is taking place in the part of the sky for you that has to do with what maybe isn't always so clear what's deep within your psyche. And with this full moon and the way that it's communicating with planet Saturn in the area of the sky that has to do with communications, I mean, I put these together and it does suggest a time when you may be feeling a little bit restless and that restlessness in turn could lead you to have conversations that maybe you wish you hadn't. So how do you resolve this tension? Well, There are a few ways that you can use this time well, because next month I will be here to talk about some really big standout moments that are set to take place for you. And that's what happens when there's a full moon in your sign as there is next month. And it is next month that is going to provide you with experiences that really stand out over the course of this coming year for you as a major turning point. But this is the time to use well, and you use this time well by striving to be honest with yourself and striving to be patient as well. Ultimately, it is your words that express what is true for you, and it is what other people say as well that have to be understood in the context of their experience, and that has to be understood in the context of them expressing whatever their lessons are that may not always have necessarily to do with you, but how you deal with it is always up to you. And how much of it you choose to take on is also up to you. With this full moon, it does tend to suggest a time when your sensitivity is especially heightened, especially on a very emotional level, especially on a level of psyche. And the best thing that you can do right now is, well, there are a few things and ways that you can utilize this time well. One is dream journal. I'm really, really big on that. When you have a full moon in the sign that is just before yours, there is a very important need for you to get clear within what is really happening in your psyche, what's really happening within your spirit as part of cleansing and as part of creating space, releasing and creating space for the new and the shifts in your life that are coming up another lunar cycle down the road. So this time is valuable in that. And any conversations that need to take place, if you can step into your communications, being mindful, even if you set the intention every day and say to yourself, okay, I want every conversation I have to in some way illuminate me and lighten me so that I can welcome all the amazing things that are ahead. Well, then you're going to find yourself being able to channel this energy to your advantage. And the energy doesn't have to come forward in ways necessarily that have anything to do with you sort of having a moment where you wish you had said something or wish that you hadn't said something or that someone else hadn't said something. You don't have to have that type of moment if you can channel this energy wisely. But if that type of moment should occur, at the same time, the blessing of this time is to understand not to take anything personally and to understand this feeling of just having absolute acceptance for other people and their journey and not taking their stuff on. Sensitivity is a gift and heightened sensitivity, periods of heightened sensitivity can help you in every area of your life. They can help you understand what really matters to you, what you choose to manifest, what you want to manifest. And they can also help you to understand the direction in which you are going and if you like it or not and where you can make changes and especially intuitively to understand the most important changes to make. That makes this time very valuable. However, it is going to be up to you to decide wisely on what information you're going to let in. If you can do that, if you can navigate this time of restlessness well, then you are going to find yourself well prepared and creating space and lightening your load for all the wonderful things that are coming up just a little bit further down the road. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.